What is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General, here, and welcome to the championship of the NPBA, the final battle of the season against the Texas Blazekins. Yes, it's a little fitting that the Baltimore Blazekins as the Texas Blazekins are here together in the finals. I think this is a crazy, crazy match. This is going to be a crazy match. This is a Remax. Obviously, we're fighting Nimblox Gaming. Um, I'll link his channel down below. You guys should definitely go check him out too. He's definitely he's gonna help out with next season as well. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, but this is the championship match, guys. This is where everything comes down to. We fought him earlier in the season, and yes, we did beat him. Right? Obviously, we are completely undefeated except for one battle. We have only lost one this entire season. We are currently one in seven, one in six, whatever it is. We are we've only lost one battle, and that's against the team that he beat last week in in the semifinals right the number two team in the league is somehow he beat the number two team in the league and he made it to the made it to the finals so he's put in a lot of work this season in it and i think it's pretty fitting that we're fighting him because he's kind he's kind of been a little bit of a rival this season um we did beat him the first time but he's talked a lot of crap he's talked a lot of crap and uh um, I'm glad that we're fighting him again in, uh, in, in the finals, you know, honestly, I think if anybody else in this league deserves the win, it's definitely him, uh, so, which is, which is really cool, but, like I said, I don't know, I'm going to go into this with the anticipation of not winning, uh, like, you know, MJ says in the Spider-Man, in the new Spider-Man movies, you know, expect disappointment and you can never be truly disappointed, which I think is actually a really cool uh, way to think of things because I'm gonna go in expecting disappointment. I'm gonna be incredibly nervous, I can tell you guys, but I'm gonna be playing this safe, right? I've already determined that I'm gonna be playing this safe this season or this battle. I'm not running anything crazy, we're not running anything super cool. I'm going to play things safe. If I try to do things sneaky or I'll play on the super offensive or um you know just try and try and catch him off guard we're going to lose that's what we've done all season right we've all we've done if we try to do something cool or something sneaky all we've done is choke right we've choked a hundred times i think the best times i play is when i just create the team i just go in and, and we do it um now i'm sorry this video wasn't up earlier in the week uh on monday i actually tested positive for covid um you wouldn't be able to tell now because everything was everything's good but for a few days i was in hell um, I'm I'm not vaccinated. You guys should get vaccinated, but uh, if you're not already, but I was not, so uh, it was it was pretty hell for me. I had such a sore throat uh, for a few days that I couldn't even talk, so it was really hard. Luckily, Nimblox gave me um, a couple more days, and uh, we're actually recording this on Mother's Day, so uh, this is coming out late. This is the last video we're recording in this apartment, though. As you can tell, everything is gone. Uh, this shelving and everything will be gone in less than 12 hours. So, yeah, which is kind of crazy, but this is it, guys. This is the last video we're filming in here. Next video, you guys will see, will be an apartment tour, but that's probably going to be a few days before I get everything situated for that anyways. But, uh, yeah, so I really hope you guys do enjoy. Um, if you guys are excited, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. Check out Nimblox's channel as well. Uh, but without further ado, um, I'm not going to worry about going over his team. I'm not going to worry about going over his team because we've already done it once. So he does have a couple switches. I will let you guys right now know right now that Progly was switched for Zangus, right? So Zangus obviously has Toxic Boost. Um, it does. It, what he usually does when he uses it is he usually protects in order to get the Toxic Orb to to set. So we know if he's coming out, then we have a free attack on the other Pokemon and the other thing because he's not going to attack that first turn. He's going to protect 100%. That's what he's done. I've watched the replays of the battles where he's used it and he's always protecting the first turn. So um, we don't have to worry about that too much, but it could be incredibly scary. So um, we're going to get into past me talking about his team and then we'll get, uh, we'll get into the team that I'm bringing. Okay, so his team consists of Metagross, Ludiloco, or Ludicolo, however you say that, Politoed, Perugly, Hitmon, Lee, Aerodactyl, Tog Togetic, Rotom Heat, Gengar, Charmeleon, and Dragonair. Now, um, obviously Metagross is a huge threat. As we saw last week, he is an insane threat, right? Or last week, last season, right? Because we drafted him last season. We drafted Metagross last season. And I think he was really good, but however, 
Metagross is really good in the metagame that has a ton of fairy types. Uh, you know, luckily we do not have a ton of fairy types in this one. So he, it's not as good as it was it, as it is in Sword and Shield. However, it is still a massive, massive threat. Uh, luckily, it does not get access to anything to hit Manaphy, even though we aren't bringing Manaphy. But, uh, you know, it does just get access to Stealth Rock. But another thing is, is that he does have access to a uh, Ghost-type Pokemon so he can Explosion and do that. At least that's what we ran last season. I don't know if he's going to run it. I doubt it. Um, but he is, he has brought Metagross to both of his matches already, so I highly think he's going to bring it this year. Obviously, it's got a really high attack stat, um, uh, I don't, he's run Earthquake every week as well, or at least I think he ran it both, I know he ran it one week, I can't remember if he ran it the second week, I think he did, uh, so we do have to worry about that. Obviously, he's got Politoed, which is the main rain setter, also really bulky, can get access to Helping Hand, uh, Parish Song, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Ludi Loco is obviously gets access to uh, Swift Swim, and he is 100% bringing it because of the fact that that is his one counter to Manaphy. Um, the biggest counter to Manaphy on this team, you know, having Rotom, but also us having a Lightning Rod po Pokemon and a Volt Absorbing Pokemon. I don't think he's going to have Rotom Heat being his number one counter to it. Um, obviously, it gets Swift Swim. It gets Rain Dish as well. So, but I don't think he's going to be ra running Rain Dish. I think he's going to be running uh, probably. Probably Swift Swim, but I don't know if it'll. I don't think it'll be Scarf. Maybe I don't know. Probably Energy Ball, Giga Drain, whatever. Uh, Progly is just bulky in general. Um, it being a good norm, uh, having a good normal type also is nice for Ghost Pokemon. You know, us having you know Ambipom is also really nice for Ghost Pokemon. Uh, but this thing, I don't really. It doesn't really get like anything I'm super afraid of. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about that one, because we do have, you know, a couple strong fighting, or we have a strong fighting type in Pokemon that get access to fighting type moves, so I'm not too worried about Perugly, but obviously that thing is just really, really bulky, and obviously can hit hard with Body Slam and stuff like that. Uh, now Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee's probably the worst of the three Hitmons, he, in my opinion he's my favorite of the three Hitmons, but, um, he's the worst competitively. Uh, doesn't get access to any of the elemental punches or anything. Really gets access to high jump kick, jump kick. High jump kick being his best attacking move. And really, you know, it it is unreliable, I guess you could say. So, you know, that thing could be a threat, but does he bring it? I don't know. Does get access to fake out and stuff like that. Gengar is, a, is another insane issue, right? An insane, insane issue. Uh, we do have an immunity to it in Ambipom. But uh, this thing can run a lot of different things. Can run both Energy Ball and uh, Thunderbolt and, pl and Thunder, too. If he decides to run with the rain, which I'm pretty sure he is, and bring Thunder Gengar, or at least Thunderbolt, for Manaphy, uh, we have to be prepared for that because, um, well, like I said, we're not bringing Manaphy, but I do think he's going to bring that, uh, so we do have to be careful. Togetic, not really an issue, right? Not really an issue. We have Pokemon, we have a... Uh, we have an electric type Pokemon. We have Pokemon that get access to electric type moves and rock type moves. Not having Evil Light is big for that thing. It does get Follow Me, so we do have to be careful about that. Um, you know, obviously, can soft boil really does some of the things that Tochkis does, but honestly, not really worried about that. Aerodactyl, I'm insanely worried about, right? I didn't realize when building for this team, I didn't realize until building for this team how fast Aerodactyl is. I think it has something like a whopping base 130 speed, which is insane. And we don't have anything but Jolteon that outspeeds this thing, right? I think running a certain Haunter set could uh, outspeed it. But honestly, this thing is insane. And if this thing can set up a Dragon Dance, I, I think it, I know it gets Dragon Dance Sword and Shield. Don't know if it gets it right now in BDSB. But even just like a rock slide, it'll just demolish our team because we don't really have too much to, to counter that. And us not bringing Manaphy this week is pretty big because that, if that thing comes, it's going to demolish, right? Rotom Heat is also really good. Probably the best Rotom form, in my opinion. Uh, it does get access to Overheat. Not really too worried about that. We don't really have anything that, that hits really super effectively. Um, it does get access to electric type moves, obviously Discharge and, and Thunderbolt and stuff like that. Dottie's going to run Discharge because he's... You know, he's got a water type and two flying types, so I doubt he's going to do that. But he probably, he might run the you know, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Trick maybe. Obviously gets access to Will of the Wisp, stuff like that. Um, so, I think that thing is going to come too. He's brought that every week. Last week he came with a Focus Sash, so we do have to be careful of that if he decides to do that. 
Dragonair and uh, Charmeleon are another, you know, tier four Pokemon that really, I'm not really too worried about. Dragonair, I'm not really, really worried about. Us having Weavile and stuff is probably going to cause him not to bring it. So I don't really think of that. And then he, he's tried to talk up Charmeleon quite a bit. He's like, I'm going to run Ancient Power, Swords Dance, what was it? Nasty Plot? No, Dragon Dance. Yeah, Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, Ancient Power, and another move, right? And he's like, oh, that's what I'm bringing with like 120 attack, 120 special attack, and like the rest in like HP or speed or something. Now, I think he was just screwing with us, but honestly, I'm not really too worried about Charmeleon. And, you know, I am a little, I was a little, you know, Togetic does get Psych Up. So if this thing decides that he wants to, you know, run a Dragon Dance thing and then Psych Up with Togetic, I mean, I don't think that's what he's going to do, but, you know, you never know. Because it, it, Togetic gets access to Nasty Plot anyway. So why would he want to, uh, I think he does. I know Togekiss does, so maybe, I think he does, I don't know. I didn't do too much research on Togetic because I don't really think that one's coming or going to be a threat. That is his team, if I had to make a guess on six Pokemon, right? Metagross, Ludiloco, Politoed, Gengar, Rotom Heat, and uh, Aerodactyl, right? Those are my six. I don't think he's going to bring Progly. I don't think he's going to bring Hitmonlee. I don't think he's going to bring Togetic. I don't think he's going to be Dragonair, and I don't think he's going to bring Charmeleon, right? But uh, I have stuff to deal with some of these Pokemon. We have a little bit of a spicy team this week. My strategy is obviously trying to throw him off his game. Uh, but honestly, if we come out of this, you know, two and one, it is what it is. But, um, I would like to take him down, beat him into the dirt. I hope this doesn't come back to burn me at the end. Uh, you know, so we can both be, or I can be two and, uh, we can be three and oh, and he can be two and one. But one of us is going to be knocked down a peg at the end of this. He's been talking a lot of crap. He's been talking a lot of smack. Um, and I don't really want to say anything because I, I do, I am terrified about this battle. Like, this is a, definitely a big one. Uh, for us, but, uh, yeah. But, uh, we're, we're gonna get rain of the team that I'm bringing. Here's the team we're, be we're bringing against, uh, the Texas Playskins and Coach Nimblox Gaming for the championship match of the MPBA. Like I said, I'm bringing basically just standard sets. I'm not doing anything super crazy, not doing anything super insane. I'm bringing standard sets, uh, and we're gonna play it safe, right? If we play it safe, it'll be easier for us to win, right? Um, I've watched a lot of his matches i haven't i've done a lot of calking but i haven't done too much <coughs> and i haven't touched this team since i made it at the beginning of the week right right the night the right before i got covid um i made this team and i haven't touched it since because i don't want to overthink things i don't want to think things too hard and screw up so we're just going to go in with the basic sets right now i didn't get to bring you know my substitute Choice Specs, uh, Manaphy set that I really wanted to. I thought about bringing it this week, but there's no point in trying to do something sneaky. Um, now, I'm hoping he brings Polytoad, right? We did not bring Squirt last time. I don't think we brought Frozone. We didn't have Secret Tech either. So, um, but, uh, yeah. So, I do think that um, having Squirt is good. I hope he brings Polytoad this time. He didn't bring it last time because he didn't want to give Manaphy a boost, but I feel like if we bring it this time, they could do nothing but, but help us out, right? He doesn't have a ton of Pokemon that can knock us out, except for Booty Loco, which is a huge threat, but we are running just basic leftovers, hydration set, with Tail Glow, Scald, Shadow Bomb, Protect, 252 EVs in Special Attack, 252 in Speed, and the remaining 4 in HP with a modest nature. So that is, um, that is the set that we're bringing, just the basic set. I was thinking about bringing Energy Ball just in case he does bring, uh, Politoed, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Skull hits a lot, and then Shadow Ball also hits his Gengar and his, um, Metagross, right? And Oko's Metagross, um, it does, it will Oko Gengar, but Gengar outspeeds and knocks me out with Thunderbolt if it's back special attack. Um, if it's Choice Specs, if it's Focus Sash, then it, it'll get two off. So we do have to worry about that, but if we can catch Gengar in on the switch in, because I'm pretty sure he's going to bring it, um, and then Protect, uh, just in case we want to scout for, for the move. So like I said, we are running a Modest Nature, just trying to run the, the most safest things that we can this season. Honestly, the 252 EVs in, spe in speed also help us outspeed Hitmonlee. That's not like a jolly whatever Hitmonlee. So I don't know if he'll bring it again this season, but... Uh, if he does, we do have. 
Now, next one up, guys, is Frozone. Rocking with the Focus Sash, Pickpocket, Fake Out, Icicle Crash, Night Slash, and Ice Shard. Um, this is basically just, I think, probably like one of the best things. I think if we lead Frozone and Monkey, we might be good. Or maybe even Monkey and Luke Cage. Really depends on who he brings. But Frozone is good. Fake Out, obviously, there for uh, priority. Uh, Icicle Crash, er, and Ice Shard's there for priority, too. Icicle Crash is there for, it does a lot of Ludi Loco, but even with the set that we are doing, it is only doing about 50%, uh, a little bit more than 50%. Uh, Icicle Crash is Okoing the Aerodactyl, though, and that is the big thing. Um, and then Night Slash there is to hit uh, Metagross, too, on the switch end. Um, I wasn't going to bring it, but honestly, hit that hits, it also hits Gengar. But uh, Metagross, if it wants to go for like a psychic type move on... Uh, Luke Cage or whatever, we can go for that, but we do have to worry about Bullet Punch, especially if it's like Choice Banded, whatever. But he does like bringing physical Metagross with that headbutt, so we've, he does it a lot. So having this guy, I think is really good. We are 252 EVs in attack, 252 in speed, the remaining 4 in HP with an adamant nature. Uh, we don't really need to outspeed anything outside of uh, Tailwind, which he does usually bring uh, on Aerodactyl, but we have ways of getting around that anyway, so we outspeed pretty much everything with that, so yeah. Now, Monkey, we brought... Oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, now, Monkey, we brought every single week. Um, and this thing has definitely been the MVP of the of the team 100%. And I'm super, super excited. And I'm super glad that we got to bring it. You know, we got Fake Out, Double Hit, Quick Guard, and Taunt. Quick Guard is really going to be there for, like, uh, Bullet Punch on Metagross. I thought having it would kind of be cool. That way, um, if he decides to go for... That or Quick Attack on Zangoose. That was the other reason I brought it, right? Because Toxic Boost Quick Attack does a lot of damage. So, um, if we do Quick Guard there, we don't have to worry about that. Taunt is there for stopping from setting up Swords Dance with um, Zangoose. Uh, also from there for stopping him. Mainly there to stop him from setting up Tailwind with Aerodactyl. Fake Out's there for potential and Double Hit's there for doing a lot of damage too. Right. Uh, so we are Max Attack, Max Speed. Uh, with an adamant nature and the remaining four in HP. So, yeah, we're, we're honestly just trying to do as much damage as we can with the Ambipom this week. Uh, Technician really helps out with double hit and fake out. So, but obviously, Ambipom, we've seen how much damage Ambipom can do. We've seen how good it is. We don't really have to be reminded about how good it is, right? Next one up is Luke Cage with the Life Orb, Iron Fist, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Thunder Punch, and Detect. Drain Punch is there for stab. Honestly, it might do even more than Thunder Punch to Will. But Thunder Punch is there for Aerodactyl, which I think Drain Punch will still do more, and is there for Polytoad if he decides to bring it. Drain Punch will still do a lot to Ludi Loco. Mock Punch is there for priority, and then Detect is there if we do want to scout out for that Zen Head, but or you know basically any other move because the thing is, is that Hitmonchan is not super bulky, right? Hits hard, but it's not bulky. So, but yeah, and then Life Orb is there for the extra oomph, but I do would like the ability to be able to go from Mock Punch to Drain Punch to Detect. The Thunder Punch, I don't want to be locked in with Choice Band. And we don't really need it to, because anything that we're going to Oko, we're going to Oko without Choice Band. So, but yeah. Next one up, guys, is Secret Tech. With the Expert Belt, we're bringing Expert Belt again. Analytic, uh, Tri Attack, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Recover. Uh, Tri Attack is there for Stab. Uh, Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt are there to hit things for super effectively. And then the Expert Belt basically gives it the Stab Boost. Which is nice. So Shadow Ball obviously there is for... This is our main counter to uh, Gengar. Um, this thing cannot touch me. Um, it can have Focus Blast, but we don't go down to fo one Focus Blast. Um, we almost do, but we don't go down to one. And then Shadow Ball knocks it out. <coughs> Thunderbolt knocks out Ludi Loco. Or not Ludi Loco. Knocks out Polytoad. Knocks out um, Aerodactyl. It does a lot to Ludi Loco. And then I think Tri-Attack does more though. And then recovers there to get us back some help. But we are uh, max HP, max special attack with a, what is this, quiet nature. I thought it was quiet, but didn't want to mess it up. So, yeah, I mean, we got a really, really good uh, Pokemon here. Um, I don't know if if it'll do too much, but I'm assuming it will, right? Assuming this thing is going to come in, especially late game, and just clean it, right? And then, obviously, we have our boy High Voltage, the Jolty Eye, coming back with Choice Specs, Volt Absorb, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Yawn. Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, honestly, Volt Switch is just there for to get momentum, hit something hard to get out. Thunderbolt is there to hit Polytoad, is there, I mean, it almost, I'm pretty sure it almost Oko's um, Ludi Loco. It's insane. Um, then we have Shadow Ball to hit Metagross and um, 
Gengar, and then we have Yawn to put something to sleep if we need to with a less ditch effort. But we are max special attack, max speed, uh, and the remaining 4 on HP with a timid nature. Yep. Okay. So, I don't know why I'm throwing, putting a more than a modest nature. I think probably modest would probably be better. But I think timid helps us out speed uh, Gengar. So, and we kind of need to. We have the ability to run Shadow Ball. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's our team, guys. Um, hopefully we can get this win. I just think it's funny because even if we don't get this win, guys, even if we lose this, we're not going to be the championship, but we're still going to be the number one in the team in the league, only of losing two battles. No other team will have lost only two. So, but, uh, yeah, either way, we're going to be the number one team, but this is for, this is for the championship. So, uh, I really hope you guys do enjoy. I really hope you guys are hitting that like button because guess what? Yo, boy is in the finals, and even if we don't win... Hey, like I said, let the best man win. Let the best man win. If Nimblox win, he deserves it. I will say that right now he deserves it. I am glad to be playing him. Uh, but, yeah. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who is in the, the, the server uh, for, for playing, taking time out of your day to play in my little server. This is super cool. Something I'm super passionate about. And it's really cool to create a little bit of a community with a bunch of really awesome guys and have some fun so yeah and thank you to all of you that are watching that are not in the league too and has been supporting the series because this draft league has, series has been the most fun and the most supported series i've ever done but yeah but that guys that's gonna be it for me so i guess at the end of every video and this is not the end of the video this is the end of this part but i will see you guys in the battle peace all right guys so here we are in the battle um, I'm just going to wait for Nimblock to challenge us, and then we'll get right into it. Um, I'm incredibly nervous. This is it, guys. If we win, we win. If we don't, we don't. Let the best man win. But uh, we're going to wait for him to challenge us, and we'll get right, ready. We'll get right into it. All right, guys. So here it is. This is the exact same team as he brought the first time, except for Swap. Zangu's out for probably, obviously. And Swap... Uh, Swap Palitoad out for Gengar. So no Gengar. Um, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad we brought High Voltage then. So, all right. He said, "Good luck, have fun." Spelled out the entire thing because it's the finals. Oh yeah, same here, man. I'm I'm so nervous. Like I said, if he wins this, he he, he deserves it. So I feel like man, Squirt is so good here, but I feel like just going Luke Cage. And Monkey is probably our best bet here. I feel... I'm not going to start the timer. Um, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like he leads Zangoose. Um, Zangoose... I'm actually scared of Zangoose. So, if he leads Zangoose, we know he's going to protect first to get his Flame Orb or Toxic Orb or whatever. What ability do you get? You even going to tell me? Maybe not. What about you? Will you tell me? Uh, toxic Boost. So, yeah... Um, if he gets it, if he gets it, so he's gonna, you know, obviously going to, uh, uh, I mean, this is, this is just going to leading Hitmonchan, and, and honestly, Weavile is not as good here because he didn't bring his, um, uh, Gengar. However, Weavile is our number one counter to that Metagross. Uh, obviously, we do have Porygon Z, which I think will be really good here. Obviously, um, we're not gonna let that we're not gonna let that Aerodactyl set up the Tailwind, right? We're gonna do everything we can. Uh, last time we did not run Taunt on it, so luckily uh, we are running Taunt on it. I like I said, I didn't think twice about this uh, about this um, about this team builder. So just gonna send out Politoed and Ludi Loco. Okay, so I can straight up go for a Thunder Punch into the Politoed, right? I mean, do we lose anything? I mean, what what does more? Okay, l l let me check. I'm going to calc this, okay? We're going to calc... Um, okay, so it might do... Uh, drain Punch might do more. So let's just see. Um, we're going to say uh, uh, Luke Cage... Or not Luke Cage, I can't say so it's Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. Okay, we are, what are we, Life Orb? Yeah, we're Life Orb, Iron Fist, so we're gonna say we're Max Attack. Adamant, so we're gonna say two. I should have, uh, you know, put in my. Should have put these in before, but I didn't. 
so we're gonna do this all right and then we got drain punch and thunder punch I mean Polytoad's really bulky so all right and we are Iron Fist, so we gotta go down to I. Which is, honestly, Iron Fist is really good here. Uh, where is Iron Fist in here? All right, oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there's Iron Fist against a, um, Politoed. All right, and then also I have to put in the life orb. Um, honestly, actually, we might be better off just going for a fig. Actually, I think I just go for a drain punch into the Ludi Loco here and a fake out into it as well. I think that's what. No! Oh, that sucks. Okay, so never mind. It doesn't suck as much. Um. So. This is the thing is I think he might go for a scald here. So if I go, man, I don't want to. <sighs> I'm gonna detect here and go for a double hit on the Ludi Loco. I think that's our best bet here because I want to know what that Ludi Loco is gonna do. See, Polito could surf too. That's the thing is it's like this is just a double surf. Sh thing this is god this isn't this really isn't good um i think i just go yeah we're gonna go for a detect here and we're gonna go for a double hit in the Lodi loco i think that's our play he doesn't switch he just he does surf oh my god that does so much it's it's this is 100 specs can we knock that out we do just knock it out that's actually really really big and he goes for the scald in the loot cage that's what I thought he was going to do. That's what I figured was going to happen here. All right, watch him go Aerodactyl now. He, he won't go Aerodactyl now. There's no way, right? There's no way. He goes Aerodactyl now. He goes Metagross. He's probably going to go for a Psychic then. What if I go Frozone? And then I go Squirt here. That's probably our best bet, honestly. Honestly, that's probably our best bet here. Uh, I'd like to save monkeys if, if I could. Um, so we're going to go into Squirt, and we're going to go into Frozone here. He's going to go for a Zed Headbutt. I figure that's what's going to happen there. We are immune. He's going to Scald, and we are... Don't burn! Ah! Bro, that sucks! Oh, actually, yeah, we cure the burn because of the rain. Okay, actually, that's that's really, really good. I go for... I just straight up go for a Night Slash into the Metagross. I don't even care here. And I set up a Tail Glow. There's the, the... Okay, this is good. This is actually really good. This is actually really good. We go for a Night Slash. Doesn't do a ton. And we set up the Tail Glow. Here we go! Here we go, baby! Here we go. Okay, now... um. Now I double, right? Because he's going to go for a fighting type move. Uh, I don't want to just sack Monkey here, but I think we might have to. I think we do. And I'm just going to go for a Scald into the Hitmonlee. That's it. I mean, does Hitmonlee get an electric type move? Does it? Okay, let me let me look this up quick. Let me look this up. Hitmonlee. Let me go to... Actually, let's go to Showdown here. Um... I'm gonna say Hitmonlee. Does he get Thunder Punch? I don't think he does because it's he's a kicker. Let me go. He doesn't. He doesn't get anything. So we are safe just to go. I could just go into high voltage here, but I'm choice specs. And now I go monkey. We have to sack him and we scald into the Hitmonlee. We have to. We have to. I have no choice. And we oh yes, baby! Oh, don't burn. Well, it doesn't matter again. It doesn't matter again. Dude, this is epic. This is so good. This is so good right now. This is so good right now. Because I can go for an energy ball into Politoed now. I am... Uh, 
Uh, he said, read me like a book. Uh, I'm gonna say sorry, man. That's, it's honestly, it's not me just reading him. It's me just playing on the safe side. I, I, I'm not, I'm not being super offensive here. That's the thing. And him having Ludi, having, the, honestly, those two are huge threats that are gone. And with Squirt at 2.5, he doesn't really have too much. I don't even know if, if Zangoose takes me out here. I don't even think, I don't know, man. Honestly, we can go for a, fa a pretty easy fake out as well. Yo. My only thing here is that we are taunt. So my, my hope here is that he goes into Aerodactyl. But I don't think he will. I don't think he, he will because of because of Squirt. When you see 0% on your Pokemon. Oof. Oof. Ah. Uh, um. Honestly, he doesn't really have anything to hit me super effectively because Ludi Loco is gone. Um. But, oh, I'm incredibly nervous here, guys. Because just because we are too ahead does not mean we're going to win this. We could easily lose it from here. Also, as you can tell, everything's gone because I am moving out of here tomorrow. This will be the last video that I am recording in this apartment, which is really, really sad. Okay, so he goes Metagross here. This is easy, right? I... I fake out on the Politoed. And we Shadow Ball on the Metagross. That's easy here, right? Easy play? Easy play. He could go for a Bullet Punch and a Monkey. If he does, he does. He's not going to expect me to have Shadow Ball on this thing, though. He's not going to expect me to have Shadow Ball on it. That's the thing. I could Quick Guard, thinking that he's going to go... For a bullet punch here. But honestly, we don't lose very much if he does. Do we? No, no, we don't. Because at that point, I just come in with secret attack. And we've got Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball in between the two of those guys. So he used Meteor Mash. Oh, and it misses! Oh, I'm so sorry, Ninblox! Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's over. It's over. GG's, man. GG's, man. Oh, uh, this... I intentionally brought Manaphy this time because... I think I said this in the team builder, but I intentionally brought Manaphy this time because I thought that he was going to do that. There, there's the Zagus. Okay, so here we go. Is I'm going to go for a double hit into the Politoed. And, um... We're going to go for... A... Actually, yeah, we're going to go for a double hit in the Politoed, and we're going to go for a, a Scald in the Politoed. I mean, honestly, yeah, there's the Protect, so he gets the Toxic Boost. Oh, he double Protects here. Okay. All right. All right, I see you, man. I see you, man. All right, so here's the thing, is that we just go for a double hit on that Zangoose, and I think I just... And we go for a protect here on us on the the quick attack. Oh my god, monkey is insane, dude. Haze. Okay, geez. Okay, cool. There's Aerodactyl, man. Um, my only way of winning here is to taunt on the Aerodactyl and scald on it as well. Because we can't let that thing set up a tailwind. Bro, we're we gonna get a six. We're not gonna get a six zero here. There's no way he lets me get a six zero, right? I mean, I guess I could switch into high voltage here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna switch into high voltage, preserve it, try to flex on the fact that we could get a six zero. I don't say I don't think there's a sense of setting back up a, a missed on high voltage. That did a lot too. Oh, and he gets the flinch, dude. So, um. So here's the thing, I just go for a Thunderbolt on the Aerodactyl here, and we go for a Protect. 
That's my play. Um, yeah, it's gonna do a decent chunk. Wow. Well, the Aerodactyl's gone. He goes for the Ice Beam. And this is it. That's it, man. Uh, we get a 6-0, dude. We literally get a 6-0 here. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, dude, six zero, oh. six zero, oh, guys, for the last one. Here we go, guys, six zero. Oh. Long. Okay, wait, 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 wait. GG's then blocks. He played very, very well. That was uh, oh, that was incredibly nerve wracking. Oh my god, I played really safe. I gotta say this, right? GG's to Nimblox. That was a great battle, but I have to say it. Long live the king, baby. Long live the king. Season two of the NPBA comes to a close with winner, the Baltimore Blazekins and coach, the Nitro General. Hell to the yeah. Hell to the yeah. This is, this is awesome. I'm I'm very very happy 6-0 Undefeated Undefeated baby one defeat this entire season Let's go let's go what a way to end off this uh, this chapter in my life here in this apartment guys What a way to end off actually let let me let me just grab this little guy here I have a little mini figure of myself that I had made a while back and I've been meaning to show this off to you guys but I forgot a little Lego mini figure which is awesome he's actually holding Sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who because I had him on a Lego set with Doctor Who back there but uh yeah guys that's it so that's gonna be it for me so I'll see you guys in a week or two with videos probably a couple weeks videos will be back um, I'm really excited. I appreciate you guys being patient with me having COVID in all the past weeks. So, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for me. Just like I say at the end of every video, I am the Nitro General. I really hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you next season. The Nitro General's out. Peace.